Sarah Palin, what an interesting figure. Yet she's long been engaged in dealing with publicity and with the media, from the time she was a cheerleader to a beauty candidate to then on the ticket of the Republican Party for Vice President. Sarah Palin is like a continual media machine. I'm Mars. I'm Venus. Sarah Palin, mm -hmm. what do you think? What a subject. You know, Sarah Palin is a very fascinating individual. And yes, she is. She's been uh, so successful mm -hmm. in promoting herself and in gaining media attention. I'm amazed. She can go fishing in a fishing boat and gain <laughs> national press. But you know, I, what I'm wondering about Sarah Palin is this. Is she, in your opinion, a serious candidate for president? Well, it, there is nothing wrong with it. Um, she is promoting herself, and uh, definitely she has uh, some qualities and um, talent. Um, and, of course, she's not a perfect image of a for presidency, uh, but again, what's wrong with the whole picture? Uh, she's well, trying. see, I, sh I would have thought that you women would all stick together. My gosh, you know, uh, here, okay, you okay, talk okay. a lot like Sarah Palin. No, I, I don't. Yes, Come you on. do. I don't. Yeah, you can't talk. I think you ought to run, my gosh. You know, I remember that quote where she, she said, she's saying, from an island way out in the ocean that's part of Alaska, the people on that island can see Russia, so therefore we should uh, be classified as having experience in foreign affairs. And uh, if you just think about it, it's more ridiculous. Uh, the reality is more ridiculous than the, the irony. But, you know, Sarah Palin as president, is that serious? That but, wasn't yeah. smart to say. That's right. That's right. Uh, as a president, we need someone with absolutely more. It's another Sarah Palin thing. Yes, it is. It's another Sarah Palin thing. That's how she talked. But, <laughs> but, but, you know, when you look at the text of her speeches, they're very similar to the texts of Glenn Beck. And the text of his speeches are taken right out of the old uh, ideology of the John Birch Society. And the text of their beliefs were largely McCarthyism. And yet we see this becoming more and more popular and taking the Republican Party so far to the right. Mm -hmm. you know, it's a little bit spooky because these people get emotional about their politics. I mean, really, really emotional. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, let's not be worried about her. Um, she Why might not? be the salvation for the Democrat Party. Party, And I think that will take care of everything. Mm, interesting point. I do think it's a possibility that she could be president because the American people have repeatedly shown us how uninformed and how uneducated they can be when it comes for voting for presidents. Well, I'm Mars. And I'm Venus. Have a good day, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs>